Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin Delbro, and today we are making broccoli cheddar rolls. This is a side dish that my mom would make for Christmas. It goes really good with ham. But anyways, we changed it up just a little bit because the original recipe is like a roll with some broccoli cheddar flavor, but this one I wanted to make a roll stuffed with the broccoli cheddar mixture so you get a nice bite of it <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna stop talking and get right into the video okay so first we're taking these bridgeford rolls we usually use the bridgeford whole loaf but i wanted to see if using these little individual rolls made this process easier anyways yeah we're laying 16 of those out on a foil covered cookie sheet with some butter pan sprayed on the foil and on the actual rolls and we let those thaw and rise for a couple of hours while we started on the filling. So first thing for the filling, we're grating up a whole 16 ounce extra sharp cheddar cheese block. At first weren't sure how much we were actually going to use, but we ended up using a little bit more than two cups. And then we chopped up 16 ounces of thawed frozen broccoli and tossed them in a large bowl. And that was all we had to do to like prepare for the broccoli cheese mixture. So now we're adding in a heaping two cups of that shredded cheddar cheese along with three and a half tablespoons of dried chopped up onion, one teaspoon onion powder, one teaspoon salt, and two large eggs plus one large egg yolk. And we're just mixing all that up. Then just to quickly preheat the oven to 375 and while that is heating up, we can start rolling out the dough. We want that thin enough so you can see some of the cheese and broccoli through it once you roll it up. Once you've got that dough ball nice and thin, we added a nice layer of that broccoli cheese stuffing on top, rolled that up jelly roll style, closed up the ends, and then lined them up on a foiled cover cookie sheet that, again, has some Pam on it, butter Pam on it. <laughs> and we repeated those steps until we've filled all of those rolls. Now that the rolls are all stuffed, we are taking a knife and poking three holes in each roll, drowning them in unsalted butter, and then cooking them for 10 minutes, taking them out again, and then brushing them with more unsalted butter and rotating them as well, so the ones that were in the back are now in the front. And then we are cooking those for another 15 minutes or until they're nice and golden brown. And yeah, they are done. The stuffing portion is super easy. The hard part of this is rolling out the dough because it always gives you trouble. <laughs> That's what makes this recipe pretty tedious and kind of a long process, but I think it is a a delicious turnout, so I think it's worth it. But yeah, that is about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was the last side dish slash appetizer. Now we're moving on to the main dishes, so yeah. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye! Just like fate without no warning